People gathered at the Turkish embassy in Dublin last night as a solidarity protest for those killed in the Ankara bombing last Saturday. Over 100 people died when two bombs exploded at an opposition rally. The rally was demanding an end to the war that the Turkish state has been waging against the Kurds. There is a widespread suspicion in Turkey that the government were behind the bombing of the rally. Those taking part in last night's protest included local activists and Turkish and Kurdish people who are now living in Dublin. The protest was called by the Rojava calling page. Here we are going to hear why they had organised this protest. Uh, a little word about how this was called. Um, a lot of people were talking on Facebook after the, the terrible events of Saturday and people said, well, we want to have some kind of demonstration uh, and reaction to this uh, awful tragedy and in, called by some non-party political group so that, you know, we can all participate and so on. So that's how this was called out of that, um, a group that some of us here are involved in, which is the uh, Rojava Calling Group, um, put out, had a meeting on Monday and put out a call on Facebook and through our network of friends um, to come along tonight. Um, why are we here in this place outside the Turkish Embassy? Um, first of all, because we want to show solidarity with the victims um, of Saturday's massacre, who were Turkish citizens, uh, be they Turks or Kurds. Um, secondly, we want to show, as well as our grief and uh, sorrow at the, the losses on Saturday, we also want to demonstrate our anger and frustration at the actions of the Turkish state um, that we hold responsible for this massacre on Saturday and indeed that of Suruç in July before it and uh, also uh, the attack in Diyarbakir or Ahmed in uh, just shortly before the election in June. Um, specifically in relation to Saturday, he, uh, all of the witnesses have said that unlike any demonstration in Ankara, which is the capital of Turkey and was normally the most policed part of the country, there was absolutely no security approaching the demonstration. Uh, in fact, the attack occurred at four past ten in the morning, several hours before the demonstration was due to start, um, and it occurred at outside of the Ankara train station, which was the redirection point uh, for the people, specifically for the people coming for the HDP. Um, it, at that time, there was a complete lack of police security. Moments after the bomb blast. The police arrived, they stopped the ambulances coming in and attacked the victims and the people trying to aid the victims with CS gas. Uh, and this in fact contributed to further deaths of people who were wounded in the attack. So for these specific reasons and for many others relating to the violence that has been occurring um, in Turkey and specifically in the southeast and the Kurdish areas of Turkey uh, since July. Um, that we are protesting outside the Turkish embassy about the actions of the unelected AKP regime uh, and its allies within the Turkish deep state. Um, why are we here in Dublin? Well, we live here or in Ireland for those who have traveled to come here, um, but also because we want to direct our protests not simply at the Turkish state, but also at the Irish government and the EU governments who are being extremely cowardly in confronting the real situation that is going on in Turkey at the moment, in really facing up to the actions of the uh, Turkish state in violating um, the, uh, the human rights of its citizens, and that both the EU and the Irish government still try to pretend uh, that these things are not happening, and that Turkey is an ally in the fight against Daesh, which, as we know, is a complete lie because Turkey has been one of the major suppliers and supporters of Daesh for these last two years. Um, find, uh, another point I would like to raise is why would a group called uh, Rojava Calling be calling this demonstration uh, about a, um, an, a, a massacre that has happened in the capital of Turkey? One, because for us Rojava is not just a region, but is a symbol of the 
uh, struggle for Kurdish freedom, and that involves Kurds everywhere, be they in Syria, uh, in Iraq, or Iran, uh, or in Turkey. Um, secondly, because we care about the kind of people that came to this demonstration for peace in Ankara on Saturday, um, this is including non-Kurdish members of the HDP, many trade unions and leftist groups who are against the policy of the AKP and the Turkish government um, and who stand in solidarity with the struggle for Kurdish freedom. And thirdly, because like many of those groups, um, we see uh, many of the people in the HDP and the Turkish and international left, we see a particular hope in the policy of democratic autonomy um, that is the policy both of um, the PYD in Syria and of many of the people resisting in places like Syria and Sylvan and so on in the south of Turkey in these last months, uh, which is a vision for um, a Middle East that is not divided into nation states where if you do not happen to fit the dominant uh, sect or ethnicity of the declared state, you are classed as a second class citizen, but it aims to see a region where people of the rich mosaic of ethnicities and faiths um, in the region are able to live, have their own autonomy and live side by side um, in a peaceful and cooperative manner. And this for us is a unique vision of all of the players in the Middle East at the moment, whether it is Turkey, Israel, uh, Assad, uh, Daesh, or whoever. Um, and this is one of the reasons why uh, Rojava calling group sees what we are here for today as, as part of that struggle. We also see that this is a vision that we could do with something here in Ireland because for too long in Ireland since the foundation of the Republic there has also been this idea that the Irish are a single monocultural people and one of the side effects of this kind of thing which denies the existence of other native Irish ethnicities specifically like the Irish travelers that we have seen this tragic fire in Carrick Mines on Saturday and most of all the reaction of Irish people in the neighborhood refusing to let the victims of these crimes together. So democratic autonomy is not just a vision for the Middle East, but it reaches out to the jungles of Chiapas and also to Dublin and Carrick Mines as well. And I thank you all for coming. Thank you. You can keep track of updates on the situation with the Ankara bombing, but also of the revolution in Rojava by following the Rojava calling page, which is at uh, facebook.com slash Rojava calling two. Uh, the two is because there's already an international page with a similar name, but Rojava calling two is a page specifically run by people in Ireland. You'll all time find background analysis and news from the WSM at www.wsm.ie slash Rojava.